Hello, hello. Okay, so somebody's driving home. I got it. I got your message. Uh, Roberto and Brenda, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can hear you well. Okay, okay, perfect. So let's see if who else is here. Diana, Brenda, uh, Gustavo told me that he was driving. So it will be hard for him to speak, but he's listening to us. Okay, so how are you doing today, um, Roberto? Today, fine. I just shaved today. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I, I totally shaved. Right, I see I my video. video freeze. Frozen, yeah, I don't know why. Maybe the connection is um, not that good. Hello, good maybe. evening. Irma, Diana, Jackie. How are you doing? Well, it's nice to see you again. Well, right now I only see Irma and Roberto, but his camera frozen, got frozen, so probably he's got some connection issues. Or is the camera giving him some problems? So Irma, tell us. How are you feeling now? Okay, good I feel super good because um, I'm here again and I'm very excited to share with you. And I'm happy because I enjoy it. Enjoy? Oh, enjoy yes. it? Yeah, enjoy I'm it. Vacation. Yeah. Enjoy it? Yes. Yes. So I'm very, very good. Thank you. And what okay. about you? I feel excited too, because uh, obviously people love vacations and me too, right? And uh, even though uh, probably some of you had to work, um, you had more time, right? More free time because you had um, the nights off or probably had the weekend off or one day off. So that's obviously something helpful. Okay, especially when you have been working for a long time, nonstop. So I feel great. A little bit sore, I would say, because um, I decided to climb a volcano Ooh. for the first time, like a real volcano with a crater. Because I, in wow. the past, I, I climbed the Conchagua's volcano, but it's, I, I don't think it's the same as the other volcanoes that we have. So I thought about going to the Ilamatepec, right? The Santa Ana's volcano. But I got wow. to the place late. And they told us that it was only Isalco available. And that is the mm -hmm. second most difficult volcano to climb in the country. So we oh. had to make a decision uh, and take the risk. And yeah, all my body aches right now. <laughs> oh. But I did it. So that's, that's the, the best part of all. <laughs> when did you go to the volcano? On Saturday, the day before yesterday. Yeah, it's not a good idea to do that the last days of your vacation. Yeah, definitely. But anyways, here I am. I survived. And um, 
hopefully everybody's going to everybody's okay right and everybody's going to join us in today's session too um but enough about me i want to know about you so irma what do you do on your vacations oh okay in my case i went to the puerto de la libertad Yes, and I went with my family and we ate um, fish and other seafood. And that's the only uh, trip that I have because the rest of the time I spend my time here in the house and I clean my bedroom. I do all these things. And yes, only that. Ah, and I go to the cinema. Only oh. that. Which movie did you see? Yeah. Excuse me? Which movie did you see? Uh, we see the... It was the Looney Tunes. Uh, the basketball. Ah, Space Jam. Space Jam. But, yes, Space, Space Jam. Okay. <laughs> yes, it was a movie. It was very, very good. Really. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, yes. so um, let me see what's next. Jackie? How about you? Well, I went to the beach two times. Once with my friends. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. We went to a hotel in La Costa del Sol. Uh, it was uh, the last Monday. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday, we I went with my family to let me see with to near to Freddy's house or near, Freddy's near Freddy's hometown house. Exactly, uh, near Cajutla. I I forgot really? the, the name of the beach. Was it Los Cobanos? No, near. Los Almendros? No, it's near the uh, Guatemala border. Near Guatemala Maybe border. Metalino, exactly. Costa Azul. Mm, well, I don't remember uh, very Garita, well. Garita Palmera. Garita, Garita Palmera, exactly. Ah. Garita Palmera. It was my first time there, and I was very nice with a delicious uh, fried um, fish and drank a uh, coconut water. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing, Jackie. Okay. Freddy's, you're next. Welcome everybody. I see Blanca now, Miguel, Francisco, Harvin, Juan Jose. Welcome back. Beatriz, good to see you too. Excellent. So everybody's reloaded now. So Freddy's, Thank go you. ahead. You're welcome. It's nice to see you all. No we're talking about. Uh what you did on your vacation. At least on work, probably work, one, work. <laughs> at least probably uh I, I was telling the your classroom at the beginning, right? Maybe some of you didn't have like a real vacation, but you had no classes, for example. So you had the nights off and maybe you uh watched some movies or went went out to eat with your family or you slept a lot. So you did something differently, right? So um, that's what we're sharing right now. Let me see what did I do different. Actually, not. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, the only different thing that I did is that I didn't have class. <laughs> there you go. So you took advantage of the time to do something else, right? Mm, actually, yeah, watch TV, 
play some video games. Okay, so you see, you were doing different things. Cool. Yeah. So you were playing games. Online games. Online games. Okay. For example. <laughs> Free Fire. Free Fire. <laughs> Got it. So thanks for sharing, Freddie. We continue with Juan Jose. <laughs> Your microphone is off, Juan Jose. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, usually on vacation, I try to, to rest. But in this vacation, I have to uh, work in the um, daughter houses because the next uh, week um, came some uh, sister in laws and uh, cousins from my. Uh, my wife mm -hmm. and have to prepare uh, the garden um, so grass artificial grass mm -hmm. <laughs> and to prepare to uh, put um, beautiful uh, some uh, some uh, something um, I, tr I worked um, some three or four days uh, it was very very hard for me <laughs> And after in my house, I I did um, my homework in my in my house. I, I only rest uh, Saturday a little um, Saturday and Monday, uh, Sunday. Uh, no, Monday, Monday. Um, and to uh after the week i try to prepare a little bit of class because tomorrow begin the class again <laughs> okay got it Juan Jose. thank you so much for sharing miguel angel you're next hello teacher hello everybody hello hello it's a pleasure to see you again uh, for me uh, my vacation was only work because I I just took a vacation for uh, to Friday from uh, Sunday. From Friday um, to Sunday. Ah, oh, got it. Stay Friday to Sunday. Yes. Uh, Friday, uh, the first day, I I went with my family. Uh, 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 what the name is the uh, Atlantis. Atlantis mm -hmm. in near Costa del Sol um, is is a beautiful place and I recommend you this place because you can see different uh, people from El Salvador from different uh, countries and they are friendly uh, every every time. Uh, and Saturday and Sunday, I took uh, a rest uh, for beginning to work today. And and weekend, I see the uh, some uh, video games, uh, some uh, movies, because I bought a TV box. Do you know a TV mm. box? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, this is a uh, new toys for me. <laughs> awesome. Yes, yes. Um, I, only that uh, in my vacation, in short vacation. Okay. Thanks for sharing, Miguel. So mm -hmm. we continue with Gustavo. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Mister. Um, well, in in these holidays, uh, I had bad luck because uh, in the beginning, um, I feel uh, really bad for my throat. So um, the the doctor uh, signed me like a suspect of COVID. So oh. I rest all my holiday in 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 home. Mm -hmm. While this, I was playing. 
video games, uh, watching movies, uh, something like that. But uh, after the the test of PCR uh, was negative, but it, the, the, but I I lost all the holidays in in home. But it, it's good for me. It's good. I, I'm I'm a really man a homes man. So for me, it's 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 good to stay at home. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Well, luckily, uh, nothing worse happened, right? So you, you could spend a uh, relaxing time at home. Thank you so much for sharing, yeah, yeah. Gustavo. And okay. Diana. Um, <clears throat> in my case, I just visited my grandmother on Saturday. And that's it. Oh, and on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I visited my mother-in-law. Oh, okay. So that's important. Keep in, in touch with your mother-in-law. Yeah. Okay. So you couldn't go out yeah. that much, but you rested, I suppose. You rested more. Yeah, a lot. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Diana. Uh, Roberto? Now I see you well. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yes, I, I fixed the camera. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, in this vacation, I use all this time, uh, all the time to do some shorts in the house. I clean in one night the storage room. I rest in th Thursday. Mm -hmm. The Friday, I went to the veterinarian. Okay, to the bed. Yeah, I got it. To the bed. Uh, yeah. Uh, because I, I, I bring my two cats for the, the sterilization process. Oh, you, the sterilization process. Got it. Sterilization process. And all the Friday I pass so stressed because they have that tiny, tiny wound and we have to keep the cat from biting it. Yeah. But on Saturday, they, well, they stay fine and yeah, today they're fine too. It, it, it's, a, it's a very, um, let's say, fast recovery. Yes, just the surgery. one day the cats were already mm -hmm. fine, and happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Roberto. We continue with Francisco. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Mm, well, in my case, um, the um, I stay in my home. Um, I was to visit with my parents. Um, um, I remember that uh, I uh, we we went with my my daughter and my wife to to go a little trip for the beach, but no for, as you say, uh, meterse a la playa, or only... Not to swim. Yeah, no, no, not to, not swim, to, no uh -huh. swim, not to swim, mm -hmm. only, only walk. Walk by the beach, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it, yeah, uh, it's a, a little trip. Um, the old th times I stay in my home. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, yeah. Francisco. Uh, okay. Mr. Guevara. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. This vacation, I went to visit some members of my family. They are living mm -hmm. in Sonsonate, and I was there from from around three three days, wow. and the rest of my the rest of my week, I was here in my house. I spent a lot of time with my daughter, play with her, 
and I we taking a lot of nap, just that. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Visiting relatives is something that that's that we can do, right? When we have some free time. Um, okay, and of course your daughter. So that's that's really really good. Rolando, you're back. You you had yes. a long vacation. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's true. I I I had a a wonderful vacation. Okay, yeah. so tell us about it. Well, I have I had four days for vacation. Uh Monday, no. Tuesday from from Tuesday uh, to Friday. Ah, okay. To, from Tuesday to, to Saturday. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the principal activity that I did was a uh, press in my home, watch TV. I watched uh, ten movies. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's a lot. The best. The best was uh, beautiful. No, I don't remember the the, the name in English. A beautiful mind. Ah, no. okay. The Green Mile with no. Will Smith. Well, ah, uh, yeah. Not he, sure what he, what the movie is. He writes th three letters from bad, love, and another. Uh, the time. This is the 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 principal the principal. Um, how do you say eh, tema tema de la película? Theme, theme. Yeah, yeah. Will Smith write this letter because he lost her daughter. Yeah, and His daughter. Okay. Yeah, and he is really sad. And then he told to this this. Eh, eh, how do you say uh, entities? Entities? Entities, yeah. Yep. And he reclaimed the, why her daughter was dead. Yeah. His daughter it's was... really interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because some, some partner he would have a, a company, a, a company, and the company uh, lost many, um, many words for, for, his, for his problem. And her and their and his partner tried to to change her mind, his mind, yeah. Yes. And 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 talk with with three people, three, okay. three actors, yeah. A, and they can I talk about the picture or, about the movie or or talk about another? If you did something else, maybe you can mention that you can add that to the to the movies. Um... Well, the the movie was really nice. And, so and you, I recommend you. You strongly recommend, recommend it. it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and what, I I install um I installed a fan in the living room and rest all the, the all the days. Okay. So very nice. Okay, it's good to have you back, uh, Rolando. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for, you. Thank you for sharing. And now we give the chance to Beatriz. Hi, everybody. Well, I had uh, vacations from Tuesday to Sunday. I celebrated my birthday with my family. I was on birthday on August 5th. Oh, and that day, congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That day, I had my COVID vaccine too. And but after we visit uh, two places in San Vicente, I didn't know that places. Uh, I visit San Sebastian and Santo Domingo in San Vicente. I ate nuegados around the park in San Sebastian near to town hall. And yesterday we went to Santa Rosa de Lima in Anamoros oh, with you, my family. You were close yes. to, to San Diego. You passed by. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. 
Well, I we visit some relatives. Uh, my mother-in-law uh, born in Anamoros, and we went there because we want to know that place. Mm, okay, interesting. So yeah. you had a really good vacation. Well, happy birthday to you, and Thank hopefully you. it was a non-forgettable one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Okay, thank you for sharing too. Uh, Beatriz, we continue with Blanca, Stephanie. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Present. Well, I only see um, a Chinese guy on the, on the, on the. Yeah, and, and he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I turn, I, I will turn on the camera a little late because I'm, an earring right now, but okay. I'm going to share about my vacations. Okay. Because I have long vacations, but I don't do anything in my you didn't, vacation. You didn't, you didn't do anything. Yeah, because I, I love rest in my home. Uh-huh. Well, I rest since the last Saturday of July till yesterday. Mm, I spend all my vacation with my family in my home. Okay. But, well, I, and then I stay up till it was too late and woke up late too. <laughs> this last Saturday, uh, me and my friends, my friends and I, I don't know how to say it, um, we buy, we both, uh, my friends and I bought uh -huh. about a concert online and we saw the concert in the I don't know how to say madrugada in the early morning or in the um, let me check another one dawn that will be another one but in, you can say early morning in the early morning of Sunday it was yesterday <laughs> mm -hmm. we woke up till 2 p 2 a.m uh -huh. till 6 a.m because the concert long four hours last it was four hours okay last four hours yeah yeah it was really great I love it and then well I came I came to my home and I fell asleep since 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I slept a lot, a lot in vacation. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing uh, your experiences during your vacation. Uh, Blanca, I think we have uh, Mariela here with us. Yes. Okay, Ariela, how are you feeling? Yes, I can hear you well. Okay, um, I'm fine. In my vacation, I um, go out with my family and with friends. Mm -hmm. And I stay home the, from Wednesday, Wednesday or from Sunday. I just stay home, rest and sleep. Okay, so um, let me see. Thank you, Mariela. I'm not sure if Brenda is around, around there. If not, we're going to move on. And well, guys, uh, thank you all for sharing. I We normally do this in breakout rooms, right, when we have conversations, but I was interested in listening to how you're feeling, how you're doing, and what you did, right? So I'm glad that you are okay, uh, despite all the inconveniences that normally happen on vacations, right? And there are obviously uh, a lot of crazy people on the streets and going out can be a little bit risky or we can get sick, but thank God we are here. We are uh, fine and we're ready to continue learning and sharing right with each other so um we're going to get started i already 
uh, took the attendance, right? So don't worry about that. I'm going to resume the sharing so that you can see the screen with me. And uh, just some reminders, okay? Just some reminders. Uh, this is something that we did the, the first day when we started the classes on Thursday. And then um, I, want, I just want to focus on dates, okay? On dates. Uh, for example, the Wednesday 25th, that would be the deadline to finish your midterm. And then by the end, the last day of the curse, that would be uh, Wednesday, September 8th, right? You have to be done with all your assignments and all your tests, right? With the final test or final exam. And that's something that um, we need to, to that post. I got I, I got disconnected to uh it's not only frozen, I got disconnected. I don't know what what happened with Zoom. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can we can, okay, hear, can you. hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hold on, I'm going to connect to a different network. I bought a, a inter an internet uh, repeater or ex expander, something like that. I'm, I'm not sure what the name is, the technical name is. Um, so I was telling you guys that, yeah, it's probably because the computer was on vacation during the, the whole week. So now it's trying to go back to normal. Uh, it was funny because I didn't even remember in the morning where I left the, the, the charger from the computer. So I was looking for it everywhere. Uh, but well, I was telling you about the dates, right? You need to remember the dates and uh, keep in mind, right? That you're, you're going to be, you need to be updated or catching up with all the assignments every Friday, right? So this will be the session number three. So session number five would be, uh, on Wednesday, and by then you need to be done with the first week, right, of the assignments. Now, what did we do last time? What did we do last time? I'm going, to, well, this is the picture that we took, as you remember. Uh, we had the vocabulary, we, um, we practiced uh, business analysis, test marketing, idea generation, launch, product development, concept development and testing, commercialization, and idea screening. So we discussed about the meaning, we talked about the order and the differences, right, between them. So um, prototype, target audience, manufacturing, positioning were some of the words that you were looking for in the dictionaries online. Um, and we had this conversation, right? Uh, so we're going to get going, okay? with the with this part so because today the class is going to be focused on product line okay have you ever heard that expression product line yes or no raise your hand or use a reaction uh to say that you have uh do you know about that you heard about product line or you have an idea about product line let me check, Diana. Uh huh, Francisco. Okay, good. If you don't know, you can use the surprise emoji, right? Like, oh no, I don't know about that. Okay, so that we're going to uh, discuss these questions, right? And also remember that one of the things that you were going to do just to do it in a very simple way was to think about a product a new product, okay, that you could invent, remember? So you're going to share that in the breakout rooms, okay? That crazy idea of a product that you have, it's, or a new product, something that doesn't exist, okay? At least not in El Salvador. And um, 
that's what you're going to do. Right now it's going to be full speaking. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to discuss these, these three questions. Hello, Blanca. It will be an, a service? No. It could be a service. Only a product. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so um, over here it says, have you ever heard the expression product line? Can you mention the can you mention the name of three product lines? Have you purchased any product lately? One that belongs to a famous product line? So uh, that's what you're going to discuss and you are going to share your product, okay? So whatever idea you have of a product, you're going to share with your classmates. So that was part of what we were discussing in the last session, okay? And the assignment, right, for you to do it. So uh, this right here, I was telling you, uh, I will show you here. So uh, we had, you were going to think about the different products, right? But one new product is the one that you were going to choose. Mention some characteristics of the target market. For example, uh, what is the audience that you are aiming with your product? Uh, why they would be interested in your product and a little concept, right? To describe your new product. Okay, so that's what you're going to do um, right now. And I will send you to the breakout rooms to discuss the questions that appear here in the, exer in the exercise number one and to share your product idea, okay? Your product idea. So any questions before you go to the breakout rooms? Well, no, I have. A question. No, okay. I have a question. Fire, fire. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I did not understand. We we will speak about uh, our last assignment, right? About yeah. our brainstorming. Uh, yeah, product. about one product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, we will talk about uh, about three product lines. Three product lines. We know. These two things is that we are going you will, to do. Yeah, you will discuss the, the questions that appear in the exercise number one right here, mm -hmm. right? Have you ever heard mm -hmm. the expression product line? Can you mention the name of three product lines? And have you purchased any product lately? One that belongs to a famous product line? Um, so, for example, uh, if you see in the conversation, they have the new Papa sandwich for his cafeteria, right? So let's suppose that we're talking about pizza, right? Uh, you know that in Pizza Hut, they had this uh, product line that once a year they implement the Loroco pizza. So it's part of a new product line they produced. Or for example, if um, we think about, I don't know, uh, any other place that offers different options for food or let's suppose that is the Cameron, right? They, they, are, they, they have different services, right? Different product lines. But let's suppose that one of the new product lines is um, a extreme sports. So they are going to be offering, offering uh, windsurfing, um, they're going to be offering uh, canopy and I don't know what else and surfing, just surfing. So have you have you tried, have you uh, experienced that, that new product line that the Cameron is offering? I'm just inventing, right? This information, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they are, if they have that product line or if they are going to implement it, but that's a product line, right? It's not a new, uh, I mean, a new company. It's a company that, or, or an, an enterprise that already has different products, but they offer a new line of products for customers. So for example, uh, Samsung, let's say, the new uh, product line they are offering is, um, let's suppose, let's imagine, is telephones with holograms. So people can see the things in, 3D, for example, um, just that, 
Okay, uh, that's what you're going to talk about. Maybe a new pupusas, right? In uh, in Oloquilta, I don't know. So uh, like the color pupusas, right? So that's a new product line that they, they, they had. I remember many years ago. So that's what you're going to do, okay? Uh, maybe, I don't know, in El Tunco, right? They are offering... Um, um, what can be, they be offering? Oh, shark, um, fried shark. Okay, tiburón frito. So that's a new product line they are offering in the restaurants in El Tunco. I'm just making th this up, right? So <laughs> that's what you're going to do right now. Discuss the questions and share the product that you prepared, right? That you thought about during your vacation. Ready? You are going to have 10 minutes, okay, to do that in the breakout rooms. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. Room number one, we're going to have Francisco, Rolando, Blanca, Brenda. Room number two, Freddy's, Harbin, Juan Jose, and Gustavo. Room number three, we have Beatriz, Diana, Miguel, and Roberto. Uh, it only appears like Roberto Ayala. I'm not sure if you're going to, if you can change that to your full name, because I remember you said that you prefer to be called Fabio, right? And let me check Francisco. You can change your name because there's a little typo there. I think the, the S is after the letter I. <laughs> And then we have Ana Mariela with Irma, Jackie in the last room. Ready, set, and go, please. Accept the invitation, and I will see you in 10 minutes. Okay, I said the invitation to join the breakout room, please. Okay. Let me see, it's here. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, you are. No, here. no problem. <laughs> oh. I took the screenshot. At least I, 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 look, I look well. <laughs> Sometimes I have my eyes white or I'm making strange faces, but now it looks normal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We have to um, answer those questions. Have you ever heard the expression? product line. For me, it's a new uh, word, product line, but according to the explanation, the teacher's explanation, I understand a little bit more. And you? Yes, I have uh, an idea, and I think there is, um, for example, uh, Pizza Hut and Papa John's, they are uh, line, a product line, or for example, uh, mm, shoes. We have uh, Payless, uh, Lee shoes, all those. And yes, I, I think that uh, that is the product line, maybe. Okay, and you, Yela? Yes, I think it's like the shampoo or, the, or the, this kind of products. And the products say for best result, you buy the uh, conditioner, the same mark. I think it's something like that. It's the same mark and, it's, and they are similar or, or como unidos. I don't know. Mm, they are joining. Yes. Ah, 
Okay. Well, can you mention the name of three product lines? For example, wait, do you mention it? Pizza, hamburgers, shoes, and uh, cosmetics. Two. Right? They call it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but only of uh, chicken hamburgers. Uh -huh. They yeah. they put the hamburger American chicken hamburger, the Italian chicken har hamburger, something like that. They change the country of the hamburger or because they put the ingredients that usually used every country. Okay. It could be one of, of these. But um, Coca-Cola uh, launched uh, a, a Coca-Cola without sugar. Did you know? Yeah. And, yeah. One, and one with coffee. I, I, I don't like it. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But really... Ugh. I don't I, like I, it. I haven't so, tried that. I haven't tried well, that. Well, ah, I like so I like mo the most. The flower was horrible. <laughs> I like most the the flavor was the, horrible. the flavor really? of the yeah. of the coke of the coke with coffee than the coke without sugar. Yes. I hate that that yeah, it's, coke. It's, it's, I prefer the the sugar sugar free than coffee oh, I like, I really like. but yeah. i prefer the coffee than the sugar free ah the coffee and the yeah, and the yeah. and the soda do you like with with sugar the original ones yeah <laughs> because <laughs> that's, that's the most <laughs> you i don't like it. well <laughs> teacher we think that we have uh, three, three product lines. Okay. Yeah, one is from uh, McDonald's. They uh, last month uh, launch a uh, lunch, lunch uh -huh. chair. Lunch, 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 lunch. With the sound. Lanz lanzaron, uh -huh. lanzaron. Launched. They launched a uh, mini uh, menu from PTS. A uh, BTS menu, okay. Yeah, BT, BTS menu. Um, um, coffee cup normally uh, every month chain uh, new product lines. Coffee cup, yeah. The the coffee from the month mm. they announce mm. always in the radio. And the another uh, talk about what? What is the another? Burger King. Burger, Burger King. King. Burger King. Burger King. Coca Cola Zero without sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if 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 we are correct with these examples. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, those are good examples. Okay, so now what you have to do is Teacher. to is to mention. Uh, hello, Blanca. Any product? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to ask if we have to discuss about the product or service that we want to launch, I think in the market or something like that. Yeah, you are going to share the product that you I have an idea. invented, right? The product that you invented. Oh. Uh -huh, the characteristics, the-, the Okay, I don't- Target audience. I don't invent it. A little concept. Or a new product, right? That doesn't- I exist. don't invent it, but- in the country, it doesn't exist. Okay, so like, you can share that. Well, I, I, yeah, I tell to my classmates that that it, that idea it came from K dramas because mm. in Korea it it's under the law. I think that it's the the right sentence uh, to drive when you are drunk. It's illegal, illegal. It's against the law. And, yeah. Yeah, it's against the law. And the punishment it's too severe. 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 Yeah. And they have a service of chauffeur from chauffeur. 
yeah, it's a driver. Driver. Uh, Service as, driver. Assignment, assignment, assignment drivers. Mm -hmm. assignment they, driver. they use apps to, to, so, to, yeah. To purchase a service. To, yeah. to yeah. hire, to hire or to get a driver. To hire. Uh -huh. to, yeah. hire to hire a, a driver. And they live with that, with that work. And you go to the place. Uh, I don't know how to say up yet. <laughs> on foot. <laughs> on foot. On foot. Yeah, they, they go to the place on foot and then they drive all the way to the home of the of the customer or mm. the client. The customer, yeah. <laughs> of the customer. And they they left in the, in their home and they don't have to drive drunk. Okay, um, got it. Yeah. Perfect. So that's what and you're it's going a good to do. Service. Yeah, all, that is all, a good service because uh, in the country it's a high, uh, a high level of people that do or make. A, ah, oh my God! People I that do that. The words. I don't know. You have yeah, practiced a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, that happens the, the with people, vacations. Yeah. That's, okay, that's I'll, be, I'll be back. I, I need to go and check other rooms, guys. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, Rolando and Francisco, you share your ideas. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, uh, the person are just because they want to train. Yeah. <laughs> they they are your pets. pets. At mm -hmm. least. You're sharing your ideas, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. How, who's missing? How many people are missing in, the, in in this in this group? I don't remember who else. To the are, are, you, right? are you the last one? No, it, you were four, but I think somebody disconnected. So you only three. We 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 only three, and we we, we just we three start this this group. Yeah. So yeah. are you are you the last one right now, or or Beatriz and Diana have to present their product too? No, really, neither we just, of the three mm -hmm. have made this, the homework, so we start giving mm. some ideas. My goodness. Thank you, Roberto. We, <laughs> That's honestly uh, right. The, the pet training yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so vacation, vacation is not good sometimes. I, know. I was, I was uh, saying that, oh no, <laughs> we already chose. Uh, a product of the three ideas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Go ahead. You still, you still have some minutes. You still have some minutes okay. to make up <laughs> make up okay. your your mind. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Hero. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish Hello, sharing teacher. your ideas about the products? Uh, we have a, a couple of ideas, but uh, we're discussing in this moment. Okay, okay. So you have three more minutes. Okay. So ideas. All the. We so, have to do uh, the homeworks. So yes. I am sure uh, we we did only two homework, right? Because we only. Re receive uh, two classes or we have to complete all the week uh, homeworks i am not sure about that ah okay <laughs> so <laughs> i arrive i arrive right on time yeah so <laughs> so no you're going to be doing the assignments for every week during the week so the last day that you have is the day number five so um, in this case, let's suppose that day number five is on Wednesday. So Wednesday? By, by Wednesday, you need to finish, uh, you need to have finished your, the first your assignments week. for the first week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so you can do okay. the, the exercises or the assignments or 
test any day during the week. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, uh, I, I don't was the last classes, but uh, I just watching the, the, the video in YouTube. Then um, I, I, I have a question for the, the, the homework. Mm -hmm. For example, um, the brainstorm ideas. Um, we create a, a conversation or a situation for um, in my company, for example, uh, I, I work in, in Arbaniza and I, I, I prepare uh, new products. I don't know if you uh, I talking about this. Or um, I, not really. It can be are, any product. It can be any, any product, product or service. Yeah. Ah, okay. Perfect. Just a new idea, right? A new idea uh -huh, or mm. a service too. Okay. Perfect. I, I understand. Okay. Are we going to share in this room or in the main room? Uh, here. You, you got to share here. your ideas here. Yeah. You have ah, okay. just one more minute, I think. <laughs> just one. Oh, my God. Well, uh, for example, I, I would like to present about my new products. Uh, for example, so take one. And a product line that's very popular too is well, in, in Salvador, is Samsung. You can see Samsung yeah. everywhere cell phones, TVs. Exactly. This all this time, all this kind of things is, is product line. So we take one, we present to the class, and that's it. Okay. So, we point from my factory to contact you to guy. What are some of your common characteristics that I shared? Okay, sorry, the guy. Okay, so here we go. I would like to hear quickly at least three ideas or three product ideas that you consider are really, really cool, really creative from what you heard in your groups. So at least one idea per group. So in the group number one, we have Blanca, uh, Francisco and Rolando. What idea was really interesting from your classmates? Or was very innovative. Uh huh. Uh, Blanca say a good idea that, uh, for example, we we can to solid a uh, driver. For example, when a person go to the uh, whatever restaurant or, or the beach, and um, the person need a, a driver. Get drunk. <laughs> yes, it's, it's very it's very common that uh is more how do you say barato expensive? It's cheaper. Cheaper. It's uh cheaper. Mm -hmm. that that need to pay a a scale or multa. A ticket, uh -huh. got it. A uh, ticket. Or fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that's similar to Uber, but it's more like a, a designated driver, right? They call it like that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So you hire someone it's more, to... It's more cheaper to, to, to Uber, to use Uber. It's cheaper than using Uber. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, okay, before I continue with the group two, three, and four, I'm going to check who's here and who's not. So, Beatriz, are you present? I'm here. 
Okay, Mariela. Here. Blanca. I'm here. Diana. Present. Okay, floor is not here. Uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Freddy's. I'm in here, teacher. Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Marvin. Thank you, Jackie. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Gustavo. I'm here, but I'm I'm disconnect the video because I, I'm here the robotic voice. Oh, okay, got it. Uh, so the connection is not that good right now. Uh, let me check who's next, Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Fabio. Here. And Rolando. Hello, hello. Hello, Irma. Present teacher. All right, so let's go on with the next part. So in the group number two, we had Freddy's, Harbin, Juan Jose, and Gustavo. What happened, Freddy? <laughs> I thought you you lost your mind. You lost your head. <laughs> so let me check. So who um, whose idea did you like? That was really cool. Group number what? Number two. We have Freddy's, Harbin, Juan Jose, and Gustavo. I like Harbin's idea. What was Harvin's idea? He was talking about a product that they make where he works. It's about uh -huh. a t-shirt that he says that when, when you're wearing it and you start sweating or it gets wet, you can see that design of that of the t-shirt. Oh, so it's like a magic t-shirt. Yeah. Like the mugs. Like the mugs, uh-huh. I've seen some new sneakers by Nike that when they are exposed to the sun, they change color. I I watch I it in TikTok. I seen a, a Nike shoe too that you could change the color of the Nike sign with your phone. It's like a smart smart shoe. Wow, smart shoes. Yeah, okay, so you see people are creating new things. Room number yeah. three, we have Beatriz, Diana, and Fabio. Which idea uh, caught your attention? We thought in an app to train our pets. An app to train your pets? Yeah, like it has some videos and tips and some things <laughs> okay so enough to train your pets that would be very useful especially with dogs because they especially they are with dogs. Yes. yeah they are the ones that require more work okay so when you create it let me know <laughs> i need it okay. <laughs> okay then we have the group number four mariela irma jackie and miguel Uh, teacher, um, in our group, uh, we discuss about the topic, uh, uh, what the question, uh, um, for example, we talking about the new uh, products, for example, I, mm -hmm. I just talking uh, about my company, we, we uh, prepare in this moment a new product is a thermo panel. The, the ideas uh, um, we choose, for example, is the easy installation 
uh, reduce uh, the any noise upside noise reduce heat and I environment uh, uh -huh. re reduce the temperature of 20 to uh, 25 uh, degree and this is uh, our talking to uh, in our group okay that sounds interesting mm -hmm. so it's more complex but definitely good definitely really good so thank you so much for sharing uh yes reactions for all the groups so thank you i know that it was difficult to think about this on vacation because everybody's mind is connected from english and from work but uh it's time to go back right it's time to go back remember that um language especially at the beginning when you're learning it it's something that has to be constant because if you stop practicing practicing it for i don't know for a month then you feel like okay i'm forgetting some words or i i don't remember how to pronounce this so people experience that i remember when i was a student I, I, it happened to me too if i didn't practice anything after my christmas vacation for example i was like okay I feel that I'm speaking slowly. I feel that I'm not pronouncing or connecting the words correctly. I don't remember some words, so it can happen, all right? Uh, so I, I suggest you to start practicing more now that we are back so that you, um, you get the exposure that you need with the language. Now I'm going to share the screen one more time so we continue with the presentation um so about the questions you were discussing on the product lines uh, you mentioned three uh some people were talking about samsung some people were talking about mcdonald's about pizza about different products okay about different companies that have new product lines okay uh, so Alejandro has created a new Papa's sandwich for his cafeteria that is called Papa's Fast Food. And his dad thinks it's not worth adding any more products to the menu. Read the conversation and then you are going to answer the questions below that. So listen and pay attention. Dad, I decided to launch the new Papa's sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salads, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But dad, our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time to, for a product line extend a product line extension in time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complaining about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay, so there are three things that we need to point out here, point out to here. So number one is about the new vocabulary. Do you identify any new words in the conversation? Yes or no? Gustavo. Yes, uh, what is a uh, new branch? Branch, okay, mm -hmm. excellent. So yeah. for example, uh, let's suppose that one restaurant that is in San Salvador is the um, El Zócalo. In the past years, they made the decision to have a branch of Zócalo in San Miguel. So they opened one here in San Miguel. That's a branch. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, they closed. But yeah, we had El Zócalo here in San Miguel too. Uh, now, another one? Complain. Complain, okay, thank you, Irma. So I don't want you to, I don't want to hear you complain, all right? Complain is when, for example, uh, 
Complaining is when you express that you dislike something. Uh, the majority of the people uh, uh, in the present are complaining that they are getting the Chinese vaccine and they wanted to get Pfizer or Moderna, right? So people complained and they say, no, the things I want to travel to, to Germany, I want to go to Paris and with the Chinese vaccine, I cannot travel, they don't accept it. So people complain that they want the, another one that is accepted in other countries. So- What is the Chinese vaccine? The, the <laughs> Sinovac. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So uh, complain is when you don't like something and you express it, right? So okay. for example, yes. if you, you don't get a good product, or if you don't get a good service, you go and you are like, hey, I bought this cell phone last year, and, or I mean last week, and it's not working. So I need someone to fix it. I, you need to give me the money. So that is complaining, right? Okay. Um, so next one. The second point that we need to pay attention to are the words that are in bold. So we have, I've decided, have you lost, and we've come up with. So if you see right there, what we're using is a specific structure in English, and that is called the present perfect. So we use the auxiliary verb have, right? Have or has, if it is he, she, and it, plus the past participle form or the third form of the verb. In this case, we have the verb decide, lose, and come. Decide, decided, decided. Lose, lost, lost. Come, came, come. So we use that combination to talk about uh, the present perfect, right? Now, and the last, the last thing that you need to pay attention to in this conversation, right, is that uh, Alejandro, right, who is the son, is thinking about uh, making the restaurant products more attractive to the customers and to help the, cost, the, the restaurant or the business grow more. So that is something, that is the topic of the conversation, okay? So let's practice. I am going to need two volunteers and then you are going to practice in the breakout rooms. So uh, Blanca and Juan Jose, okay. Juan Jose, you are uh, the dad. Blanca, you are Alejandro. In this case, Alejandra. Okay. Okay, Ready? I'm Alejandra. Let's go. <laughs> dad, I've decided to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we saw so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fry, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But Dad, our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a, a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working over time. If you think it's going work, you are probably right. Okay, there you go. So reactions for them, please. Really good job. So. That's what you're going to do. You're going to practice the conversation and pay it. I'm going to anticipate uh, you have the manual already. So uh, these are the three questions that you're going to answer, okay? In pairs. What, what are Alejandro and his father talking about? Number two, is Alejandro's dad enthusiastic about his son's suggestion? Yes, no. Uh, have they bought? Have they both come to an agreement about the expansion of their product line? Yes or no? So those are the three questions that you're going to answer after you finish discussing the, I mean, practicing the conversation, right? So what is a product line? Now you have a more specific definition here. Um, 
Gustavo, can you please help me read the definition? Yes. <clears throat> a product line is a variety of different items known by the same brand and distribu distributed by the same manufacturer. Manufacturer. Right, manufacturer. Manu manufacturer. Manufacturer. Sorry. That's correct. Manufacturer. manufacturer. So the other word that appears here is variety. Okay. Variety. Variety. So. Oh, yeah. Variety. 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 It's, it's, it's a difficult word Variety. to pronounce. Uh, you have to practice it. Yeah. Uh, so a product line, thank you so much, Gustavo. It's a variety of different items known by the same brand and distributed by the same manufacturer. Uh, something that came to my mind as a good example also is that uh, somebody was discussing in the breakout rooms uh samsung they mentioned samsung right samsung came up with uh i mean cell phones are very popular right now but samsung originally they didn't sell cell phones they that was a company focused on selling uh different uh appliances for home right like uh washing machines uh tvs etc but then they came up came up with the idea of creating or making cell phones so that for, for Samsung, creating cell phones, that was a new product line. Um, so good, that's, that's something that we can mention. And uh, somebody also mentioned that the, a product line from, I think it was Starbucks or Coffee Cup, I think. And they were saying that every month they, create, they uh, offer a new coffee, something like that. So different items but the same brand right the same the same company um so we're going to go on and for this practice in answering the questions you will have exactly six minutes maximum okay maximum but i think that you can do it in five because the conversation is not too long and the questions are really easy so this is in pages uh page number 12 you could you you can see that over there the conversation and the questions. If there are no questions, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms, but this time you are going to practice in purse. Okay, and answer the questions in purse. Teacher, I'm going Hello. to, I have to, to take a screen to the conversation. Can oh, you okay. share, please? Yeah, sure. Let me share the conversation with you. Now? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me see. Number six, okay. Here we go. Accept the invitation to join the breakout room and get ready to practice and answer the questions. Okay, ready, ready. I didn't receive the invitation. You will get it, you will get it. Oh, okay. There you go. Yena, Francisco, go in the same room. Not yet. Yana? Mm -mm. No. Oh, okay. I will send it again. Wait for me a second. Okay. Okay. So I'm Alejandro, right? Yeah. Dad, I have decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. 
it's good to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, well, uh, no, we sell so many products already. Papa's burgers, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? Not really. <laughs> but dad, <laughs> our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for our product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, no, if you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I'm not going I know working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably probably right. Yeah, we hire more more persons. <laughs> mm, okay. And now um, I'm Alejandro and you are the dad. Okay. Okay. Okay, dad, I decide to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to, to make our brand more popular popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burgers, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, we ha have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we'll come up with, we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer besides I think it's about time for a product line, ah, for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I know a new product that, that is for the expansion to, to the expansion of the brand. Of the brands, exactly. Let me see. These yeah. are the, those are the questions. And the second one is Alejandro's dad enthusiastic about his son's suggestion. I no, think he has no, he isn't. Acceptable. Did you <laughs> how? Uh -huh. yeah, that. Okay. Teacher, we finish. We can continue with another statement. With the answering the questions, yes. Yeah, we're yes, finished. Yes, we're yes, finished. We're finished. finished. You're done. Okay, so yeah. let me check. It's 19. It's missing just one more minute. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Just one okay. more minute. Okay. Pra practice again uh, the conversation, Alejandro. De Luis. Okay. The last yes. one, number three. Sorry, I was I going to the room either. number three. Yeah, the we, we, how to. How we can say susceptible? Susceptible? Something like that. What What is that word? Susceptible. Ah, susceptible. Uh, I think it's like that. Yeah, susceptible. I have I haven't used that word in a long time, but. Okay, the, the, I think the father of Alejandro. It's susceptible. Alejandro's father. Alejandro's yeah. father. Alejandro's father, yeah. yeah. With the with the idea. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, but there are many, many. But um, uh, I, I, I know that many of that um, uh, comedores, I don't know. Diners. Uh, I, Diners. Closed. Diners. That would be a comedor. They are, yeah. They are closed. Okay. They are closed because mm -hmm. there are many. And the, for example, a student um, in this moment uh, study but online. Mm -hmm. the, the diners uh, in this moment is very difficult to sell. Very difficult. And some of the of diners are closed. Yes. It's very difficult when you start one, uh, one. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, I was checking, uh, Blanca, yeah, it, susceptible, that would be the word, susceptible. And yeah, that would be uh, likely to be affected by something, right? And, or easily inf influenced, as in the case of Alejandro's father. I mean, yeah, that would be the case of Alejandro's dad. Now we're going to get started. Uh, we're going to listen two more times the conversation, right? With uh, four different people. So uh, we're going to listen to, okay, let me check how many breakout rooms we had. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so Diana, can you please give me a number from one to seven? Uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seven. So Beatriz and Mariela, it's your turn. Okay. Ready, set, go. Okay. Are we going to read the conversation, teacher? Yeah, the conversation right now. Okay. Uh, I'm Alejandro. Dad, I decide to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa fries, Papa salad, Papa chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But that, our clean, clients, Client, clients, clients, love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I am not working overtime. If you think it's going work, you're probably right. Okay, there you go. Excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. Glad for them. And we listen to the next uh, ones. Um, so, Mariela, can you please share? Okay, share the screen. I will share the screen. Don't worry. Uh, Mariela, give me a number from one to six, please. Five. Number five. Okay, who was number five? Wait a second. Wait to check. Juan Jose and Miguel. But okay, so in this time, uh, Juan Jose, you're going to be Alejandro because in the previous one you were the dad. Okay. Okay. Um. Dad, I have decided to launch to the new Papa Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, uh, we sell so many products all right. Papa burgers, Papa fries, Papa salad, Papa chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your man? But Dad, our clients love every single product. We, we come up. We, we have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having, having so much work. And I am not working overtime. If you think it's, it's going to work, you are probably right. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much, gentlemen. So reactions, thumbs up. Now we're going to go on. Uh, I think somebody was um, raising a hand. Diana, you wanted to say something or to ask something? Or you wanted to do the conversation? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So you were working with whom? Francisco. Francisco. If Francisco okay. is ready, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Okay. You are Alejandro. 
Why? <laughs> because I'm your dad. <laughs> okay. That's a good that's a good explanation. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> dad, I have decided to launch the new the new papa sandwich. It is going to make our brand more popular and capture more subs. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burgers, Papa's rice, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But Dad, your client love every single product. We have come up with, with the, we have always sold everything we offer the site. I think it is about time for a product line extension. Um, time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay. Thank you, Nadine. Okay, you're there welcome. you go. <laughs> So you're a very um, good dad, Diana. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we go on with the questions and we're going to have different volunteers to answer the questions, right? Uh, from different breakout rooms. So in the breakout room number two, for example, we had Blanca and Jackie. Can you please give us the answer for the question number one? What are Alejandro and his father talking about? <laughs> Yeah, they talking about create a product line and launch a new product that that is for the expansion of the brand. That's correct. That's what they're talking about. Uh, breaker room number three, Gustavo and Rolando. Is Alejandro's dad enthusiastic about his son's suggestion? Mm, we think that not much. No. Not much. Not why? Why not? not? Because they have many similar products. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we think that's not more enthusiastic. And what about the idea of, of opening a new branch? This is the idea for Alejandro. Uh huh. What yeah, does his but... father think about that? In, in, uh, the end, in the end, in the he end, he agree. He agree exactly. Yeah, but first of all, in the conversation, the, uh, the Alejandro's dad is not more more enthusiastic. Okay, not too much enthusiastic. And, okay, that got it. Okay, and then number four, room number four, Harvin and Fabio. Uh, have they both come to an agreement about the expansion of the product line? Yes, in the end, they both agree to keep with the new product line and the, and the new branch. But uh, I think with that condition, and that was not overworking the father, <laughs> at least. Yeah, his father was yeah. clear about that, right? He doesn't want to work <laughs> overtime. So uh, I'm... I am sharing with you the the link that appears in the at the bottom of the of this page, right? Where you in the manual, where you see developing a new food product, the art and technique of food science. Okay, so that is just for you to have an idea how it works, right? How new products are created, especially in a restaurant. So you can take a look at that video. It lasts for about three minutes. Okay. So um, you can check it out later. Right now, what we're going to do is to go on with the explanation here. So um, how to use the present perfect, okay? So this is something that uh, is really important, obviously. And the explanation, it's simple. I think that all you have to remember is that when we use this tense, we refer to something that started at a specific point in the past or somewhere in the past, 
and has relevance or continuation in the present. Uh, they may or may not, right, continue in the present. For, and for this, we use the, the structure that I told you the last time, okay, a couple of minutes ago. Have or has plus the past participle. And the example that we have in the conversation is, have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Uh, have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Or yes, they have sold everything they offer. Or no, they haven't sold everything they offer. Now, for the last example, I need a couple of volunteers. And the first volunteer is... Freddy's, can you please read the question, um, the one that is on the on the right over here? Freddy's, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Has 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 Alejandro created a new product line? Okay. Uh, Answer. Wait yeah, a second. Sure. The answer will be by Harvin. He will help you out. Okay. Okay. The answer could be yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Or, or yes, he has. Or yes, he has created a new product line. Or, or not, he hasn't created a new product line. Okay. Correct. Thank you so much, Harvin. Now, um, in this case, we're going to um, just think about other examples, okay? I'm going to uh, ask you some questions in order to understand how to use this structure, okay? So, for example, I can tell you, uh, due to the pandemic, due to the pandemic, many companies have, have um, how can I tell you, have offered delivery for their products. Many companies have offered the customers delivery of their products. So um, that's true, okay? Uh, have you, have you during this pandemic, have you ordered or have you bought things online? Yes. Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay, have you, uh, due to this pandemic, started a new idea, a new business idea? No, I haven't. I haven't. Have you thought about creating a new product or a new service? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, very good. Now, uh, in the pandemic situation, or yeah, during the pandemic situation, yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Because a lot of people did it, right? But especially people who had some issues with work. Now, um, have you used any app, any delivery app, recently? No, I haven't. Yes, yes I, I have. have. Which one? The which one have you used? Oof, uh, McDonald's Pizza Hut. McDonald's and Pizza Hut <laughs> and Campero Chicken. Okay, got it. For your competitor, right? So um, they have their own apps. Very good. Now we're going to go on with the next one. Have you sold any product or um, or have you offered any product online during yes, this I pandemic? Have. Yes. No, I haven't. You have? No, no, I haven't. 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 Okay, okay. Good. So um we use that, okay? Uh so you can answer in a short way, like yes, I have, or no, I haven't, or you can give a complete answer, right? So yes, I have sold um, for example, uh, some tennis shoes, some sneakers online because they sent them to me and they were not my size 
or yet or no i haven't sold any product online or i have never sold any product online now so you use this structure right for referring to experiences or for referring to events or actions that started in the past and uh lasted right for a period of time so um let's say the government has um created uh different um options for people to get the vaccine right so an example um now you're going to complete this, the statements below using the words in parentheses and you're going to compare that with your partner so you are going to do it individually but you're going to have the opportunity let's say to discuss or ask your classmates for help so or for an opinion for example number one a lot of companies double space one space is for the auxiliary verb and one space is for the past participle form of the verb um because of well thought new product lines and the words in parentheses have and grow what do you think is the complement here what is the correct form of these words a lot of companies how oh. have grow have grow 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 up grow up um hmm. grow? so we have a problem here you need to know the verbs the conjugation of the verbs so um. the verb grow in the past grew. is grew, grew. and uh, the, grew. Past participle, grown. the past participle grown. is grown okay grown. grown so in this case what is the form that we're going to use grow grew or grown 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 okay so know the past the simple past form know the base form we're going to use the past participle form Correct. Grown. So because of companies growth. have grown. Mm -hmm. Correct. So that's what you're going to do with the number two, three, four, five, and six. So you work individually, but if you have questions, if you have doubts, you can share opinion with your classmate, right? In the breakout rooms. So I'm going, you can take the screenshot if you want, but you're going to work on this in your notebook. Because of time, because of time, you are just going to write down the numbers and the two words that are missing in the blanks. Okay? Similar to what I did. Have grown. That's what you're going to do. Write down what is missing. Okay? Uh, any questions? Nope. Ready to work on the exercise? Hello. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, I like the group, the band, no doubt. So here we go. I already sent the invitation so you can join the breakout rooms. Okay. Okay, so you have just four minutes, four minutes. Okay, Rolando, accept the invitation to join the breakout room. Freddy's. Perfect. Do it. I'm still writing. So. In what number are you? Number four. I mean that too. Uh, succeeded. 
Yes, this is my question. I don't know what is the past participle for that. Yeah. <laughs> past perfect, sorry, past perfect. The past participle, the past participle is, if it is a regular verb, you only add ed. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Present perfect for that spell. Yes. The past participle, that's correct. Uh, we, some and company, for, some company mm -hmm. have, haven't 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 i don't know how to pronounce this to succeed uh let me check so... succeed 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 mm -hmm. so when the verb is regular all you have to do is to add the ed to the verb. Ed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just ID. Succeed. only succeed. 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 Uh -huh. Only are there. Only are there. Ed. Only add ID. ID. Companies. Companies. Okay. Succeed. 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 <laughs> Okay, I'm going to mm -hmm. succeed. Succeed. Or um, ED at the end. ED, yeah. ED at ED. the end. So we have to add another ED. Succeeding. Succeeded. Maybe like that. Succeeded. Succeeded. Ah, okay. Succeeded. It's a, that verb is it's regular. Uh, regular. Yeah. Regular, that's right. Regular, okay. Thank you. Or haven't, haven't, haven't seen it. Haven't succeeded. Succeeded. Okay. Yes, but I think this is a uh, joint. Joint. We have. We have decided. Decided, decided to spend. Decided an hour to. Product. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one is some com companies have having yes. no, it's hasn't. It's hasn't no, haven't because companies is plural. They it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, success. Succeed. 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 Uh -huh. Succeed. Mm -hmm. So if it is a regular verb, you only add ed. So you say mm -hmm. succeeded. Succeeded. Mm -hmm. It's similar to decided. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe some company having. Having. Succeeded. Succeeded. Well, a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, have you ever? Advice? Have you ever bowed? Maybe have you ever bowed? Have you ever bought? Okay. bought. All right, so I had to call you all because time was up, right? And, but I noticed that the majority of you were doing the last ones, and some of you already yeah. finished. So it was, it was, uh, it was good. And well, uh, quickly, I'm going to share the screen uh, so we can get the answers together for the number two in the breakout room number. Let me check. Number seven. Okay, we have Beatriz and Mariela. What is the answer for number two? Um, new members of a product line have attract 
attracted new mm -hmm. market segments. New have attracted new market market segments. That's correct. Segments. Have attracted. Yeah. So what I was telling in the breakout rooms that I was in is that when the verb is regular, the it's easy to conjugate it, right? Because you only add ed. So you have to be careful with the pronunciation, right? Because I explained you in the in the previous module that we have three different pronunciations of the regular verbs in the past. So in this case, attracted, right? Id. So attracted, decided, uh, succeeded. Um, another one that is here. No, just those ones. Elaborated, edited, invented. So all those verbs, wanted, needed, we add the sound id. Now let's go with the number three. Uh, Freddy's or Irma, please. Okay, um, we have decided to expand on our products. We have decided. Decided, okay, That's sorry. correct. No, don't decided. be sorry. Don't okay. be sorry, okay. And number four, thank you so much. Don't forget to use the reactions for your classmates. Blanca or Jackie? Number four. Yeah. Some companies haven't succeeded when launching a, a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. About the target audience, that's right have not succeeded. So when we use a negative, we, we add the not in the middle, right? Of the auxiliary and the verb. So we say have not succeeded, or you can use a contraction. What is a contraction for have not? Haven't. Haven't, okay, haven't. That's correct. So let's go on with the group number four. I'm going to select the group number four to give me the answers for the next one, uh, number five. So the volunteers in this case are, oh, wait a second. So that would be number three, Gustavo or Rolando? Okay. Okay, it's the number five. Do it, Gustavo. Okay, for the number five is the, have you ever bought uh, any highly -like recognized product lines? Okay, have That's you correct. ever bought? That's correct. But, Excellent, okay. thank you. And then we have Harbin and Fabio. Number six, please. Have your company designed any new product or service recently? Mm hmm. Design. Okay, in this case, we say your company. So it's only one, right? Uh, so what is the Designer. correct? What is the cor Designed, the pronunciation, the. Designed, that's correct. Designed. Uh, but what about the auxiliary verb? Is have or it's has? Has. 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 Because has. we talk about okay. it. The company only one, right? Has your company, we refer to it. Right, it has it designed any new product or service recently? Correct. So we use has for he, she, and it. Awesome. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm going to use the reactions one more time for everybody. So the ta das. Uh, we are missing more people. I know that in the room number five and six, you haven't participated yet, but we have this. So quickly, uh, this is part of the analysis that you're going to be making for tomorrow. So um, something that you need to keep in mind is that in companies, and you, you probably experience this, uh, in companies, they analyze. They analyze many things, okay? Many things. And one uh, way of evaluating uh, people or evaluating the company is by using a SWOT analysis. So what we're going to be focusing on tomorrow is uh, describing the application of each step 
of a SWOT analysis when assessing or evaluating a new product idea. You're going to perform a SWOT analysis to determine the feasibility of a new product, uh, how, I mean, possible, how uh, correct, how likely it is to, to launch a new product. Uh, and then you have some questions, okay, that I want you to analyze. Question number one, what is a SWOT analysis? Can you tell me that? Do you have any idea about what SWOT is? No. No, 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 no. Every letter, no. every letter, every letter has a meaning. For example, uh, when you say, uh, the, when you see a letter S, it's one word. Yeah. When you see a letter W and the O and T is another one. So uh, when you see a letter S is strength. W, weaknesses. O is opportunities and is threats. So in Spanish, what is the equivalent for SWAT? Foda. There, there you go. So what are the steps to make an analysis? Uh, mm, have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? So that's what we're going to be discussing tomorrow, okay? So I need you to, um, if you want to know a little bit more, you can investigate, right? Uh, what it is like, but most importantly, I want you to study and practice the conversation, okay? Because tomorrow we're going to start the class by having some volunteers do the conversation, okay? So, well, let's get Teacher. started. Hello? What is the T? Threats, amenazas, threats. Threats, okay? Thank you. So, uh, after conducting a SWOT analysis, we'll know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strength, that means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow, more, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Oh, weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. So that's what you're going to do tomorrow. There are a lot of words that are a little bit difficult to pronounce. There are probably new words for you. So you need to practice, okay? Investigate in a dictionary, listen to the pronunciation and practice. You will do it with the same person that you will practice in today. If you, if you don't want to have any new partner, right? You can do it with the same person or you get a new one tomorrow. That's all right. So I'm going to uh, take the attendance quickly to check who's here and who's not. Let me check. Let me take a little screenshot so uh, that I remember more or less who was working with whom. Um, okay. Teacher, you you say the the word SWOT, or you have to say letter by letter. S W O T. An S W T analysis. Uh, people might understand it, okay, but both ways are okay. Okay. Uh, the way that I heard it is just like that. SWOT analysis. And let me check. Yeah, I got the four groups quickly. I'm going to stop sharing right now. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, the conversation? And by the way, I want to say that for today's class, uh, we were supposed to, to have um, Jennifer, but Jennifer's not here and Flor is not here. 
Blanca is the next one. I don't know if you can stay for the last 10 minutes, um, Blanca. Yeah, I can. Yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. So uh, I'm going to start with the last one. Uh, Irma, are you there? Hi, present. Yes, okay, Rolando. <laughs> Hello, hello. How are you? I'm here. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Gustavo. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here. Harvin. Jackie. Present. Okay, nice, Harvin. Present. Freddy's, thank you. I'm here, teacher. Francisco. Present, teacher. Floor. Well, Floor didn't, couldn't make it today. Uh, Diana. I'm here. Blanca. Mariela. Present. And Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, excellent. Now I am going to uh, stop sharing. Let me check. So guys, it was really nice to see you again and to know that everybody enjoyed or at least had some time to rest, uh, at least from me, <laughs> right? During the last week. So, uh, I hope that you have a lot of motivation as usual, right? Now more energies probably than the previous weeks that you were working and working and working and working. So it was nice to have a week off, right? From going to bed late. So uh, at least for classes reasons, not for games or movies. That's, I think that is a different purpose. But obviously, uh, I feel that I see you, right, with, the, with more, I don't know, you look fresh, okay? Like if you just took a shower. <laughs> nice. So it was nice to see you, to know what you were doing on your vacation. And I hope to see you every single day, right, until we finish on September 8th. Uh, so we go all the way nonstop. Um, Remember that every class is an opportunity that you have not only to practice, but also to ask questions, to participate, to clear all your doubts. And I am here, okay? Excited and happy to help you out. So uh, have a good night. It was good to see you again. And enjoy, right? Every moment that you have. So every day is a blessing and it is good to be with you again. So thank you so much. And take care of yourselves. See you, Thank you, Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. 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 Bye, Michael. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, Rolando. And you got a fan in next to you, right? <laughs> I see your hair way <laughs> moving. Yeah, I had a fun. I love there. <laughs> is yeah. it hot? Okay. Uh, there? Yeah. Well, always is it's hot. It's hot in here because well, a popa. Remind me, it's, it's a popa, called, right? Yeah, it's called. Uh, you can help me with the name in English. Uh huh. Uh, The city of the vapores de agua. <laughs> uh, that would be like water steams, I think. Yeah, yeah it, it calls like that. like that. It's the it's the meaning of the Nahuatl name. Ah, got it. It's the meaning. Apple. Yeah, it, but it's it's too hot. It's I don't know. It's a wet hot. Because I don't know the city, the, the ah, I don't know. It's hot. The, <laughs> it's the, hot. the humidity is is high. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you feel That's that you you sweat and your your skin gets sticky, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't I don't be prepared for the ten minutes in the class today, but uh, I love to practice the speaking because that is the the hard part for me. <laughs> that is the the most difficult part in the English, I think. When I am writing, I'm writing the the things that I'm going to do, that I'm going to say. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, it's more easy for me to it's speak. It's easier. It's easier, yeah. It's, it's easier. easier for me to speak. Uh huh. Got it. When we talk about the vacation, I have to write. Really? When I, when I, <laughs> yeah, because it's more easier, like to it's to easier? tell to explain. To express, sorry. Remember that when we when you're using the, the most, the, yeah, we when we you say easier, use. you then use more. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah, because more is the it's for the large words. Right? Yeah, more difficult, more intelligent, more important. Yes, more relevant. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for me, it's, it, it's easier to to do that. <laughs> so it's the way that you organize your ideas right yeah yeah and when i write something that don't make sense uh, that it's the way that that i notice mm -hmm. okay i have to put that first or, or that during the last i think i don't know <laughs> okay okay um well probably something that could uh work out for you in that case is uh whether you if you start uh, making up your own dialogues, your own conversations about different topics, or that you start creating a little speech about different topics. So uh, expressing your opinion. So in that way, yeah. you, you can get a lot of practice uh, talking about different topics, because but topics that can be um, common, right? Like you know that one day you will talk about it. You will give an opinion about it. So uh, like BTS for you is an everyday topic or it's a common topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you have friends from other countries or you watch videos and then you comment on the videos in English. So you can yeah. you can do that. Uh, for example, that can be one topic. What is your why do you think that BTS is the best band in the, in the, in the present, right? So, and then you start speaking yeah. for 30 seconds or later one minute. So try to do that, okay? Try to do that because uh, it's something that personally uh, helps me to, to, well, and I have had a lot of students and I do this kind of exercise with them. Like, okay, so you have one minute, you have 30 seconds to say something about this topic or about this question. Um, mm -hmm. so by force, let's say, uh, <laughs> by, uh, as an imposition, as an assignment, they have to do it and it helps them, right. To get more fluency because they are thinking, yeah, they might use it, the translator for some words or the dictionary for others. But in the end, the most important is that you uh, organize your ideas and you express those ideas in English when you're speaking. Because writing is one thing, but when you speak, you expose yourself more, okay? And yeah. you lose your fear, you improve your pronunciation and you get more fluent. So it's something that I would strongly recommend you to do. Um, and something else is obviously uh, in order to start speaking, you need to have a reference. So you can start uh, watching videos of people speaking about different topics or talking about different topics. So people giving speeches, people in interviews, people at, I don't know, different TV shows um, that can help you to see how how people use the language, okay? How they, the expressions they use, the, the way they connect the words and um, the fluency they use when they're speaking. So you need to have a reference. You need to have a reference. Yeah. 
And that's what I did when I was a student. I used to have that uh, little characteristic of paying attention to the way that people spoke the language and I tried to imitate that. So if I heard that they didn't say try to, they say try to, I was like, oh, okay, try to, I try to. Or um, they say, for example, uh, for instance, okay, so for instance, a new expression is similar to, for example, so I'm going to use for instance, it sounds more sophisticated. Um, yeah. So I try to pay attention to that, right? And um, something that I, uh, I, would, I would like to add to that is also the, the fact of being exposed to real English and native speakers. Because, uh, I mean, I try to speak as natural as possible, right? Because that's my, my goal. And people tell me, right? Like, okay, so you learn English in Salvador, but your English sounds really natural. Yeah, okay, and it's so, weird to, to hear you to talk in Spanish. <laughs> it's weird to hear me speak Spanish, that's right. So in my case, yeah. my, one of my purposes when I was learning the language was to speak as natural as possible. And if possible, to speak like a native speaker. Uh, of course, it's something that you develop with time and with a lot of practice. But and I still need to practice and improve uh, probably some aspects or to learn more things uh, in order to be a hundred percent or not a hundred, but probably ninety percent speaking like they do in the states. But I know that if I am exposed to that every day, if I am speaking to native speakers every day, listening to them every day, my English gets similar to them to theirs. So it happens to me. It's happened to me when I go to the States, for example. So I feel that my English changes because I am exposed to native speakers. And I know that I have to speak the best English that I can. So, um, <laughs> so it's, it's like that. Or okay. they understand you, right? So they understand me and I don't feel like they're going to criticize me or do something or say something about it, right? So or say something like, hola, amigo. Uh -huh, like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, you should try uh, to improve, right? That, that could happen, but it's not, I mean, it's not normal. It's not normal. I mean, people understand that you're not from their country and that you speak the language in your way, the way that you can. So, um, yeah. but it's a personal decision, right? Um, so you decide how much you expose to the language, you decide how you speak the language and you decide um, the interaction that you have with the language. So that's what I could tell you about, about that fact or about that point of speaking. Okay, thank you so much. Well, in my case, I, I try to learn about the meaning of the words more of the speaking, because for me, it's hard to, to make the sentence, but it's not impossible. And that's the reason that I, I've learned the, the English. Mm -hmm. I took the class because I want to speak more, more and more. I don't know. I, that's awesome. the reason that I like that I like a uh, when we go to the ah oh, the room the break of room breaking room <laughs> I always break forget the name yeah no no it's no it's that 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 it's a hard word for me no be, that the reason is that I forgot the name <laughs> okay it's a, the, it's the a memory issue rooms. uh huh <laughs> yeah it's a memory issue. Uh, I, I like to, to go to the breaker room because I have to speak the English and that is the, the, the good thing I think. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, uh, Blanca. Yeah. We are for 14 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so take care of yourself. It was nice to, to see you and to, to stay with you for these last minutes. Thank you so much for staying and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Hey, see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye-bye.